Hello Angus, it's Uncle Greg here. I thought I'd make a quick video to walk you through some of the features or um, items in the uh, couple of uh, worlds that I've set up on your computer. So the first one is the Greg's Farm World load or save. Um, you need version 1.16.3 to play the um, Greg's Farm World, I think it's called. I think it's 1.16.3. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so if I go single player, and then I think you've got the one, you've got an option there called Greg's Farm World. So load that. Now this one is a creative. I mean, sorry. This one actually was a. Oh, good. It's an annoying sound. This one actually was my survival world that I created with um, with Dak, but um, for the purpose of this video, I'll just turn it to creative mode so I can show you some things. I've got to turn that sound down. That's really annoying. Okay, so if you want, if you want to turn on creative mode on your version what you've got to do is first and you might want to get your I don't know if you need to get your dad to help you with no you might be able to work this out so you press escape and you select the option open to LAN okay change uh, then tick allow cheats and then click Start LAN World. Okay, now once you've done that, you can now t press the letter T, and then type in the, this this um, uh, this command. So it's forward slash game type game mode. That's right, game mode space creative so i'll leave that on the screen for you for a little bit so you can read that so it's forward slash game mode g-a-m-e-m-o-d-e -E -E, space creative presenter and that should change you to creative mode okay so the first thing i'll show you um, if we come across here oh no hold on what else uh yeah, so the first thing I'll show you is this thing here. It's a bit noisy. Oh, it's really noisy. So what is it, this? Is an automated, automated um, farm. It produces auto, auto, um, automatically. It it's automated the production of melons and pumpkins, so you don't have to do anything. So what it does. Is there's two levels that's where the pumpkins and the watermelons grow and as soon as oops and as soon as they've yeah as soon as they've um grown and they shit, i should move away as soon as i've grown um a i can't even remember the names of these um things but a thingy bob comes down i can't remember what it's called a piston and basically squashes the pumpkin and then turns it into a a pumpkin you can pick up or a melon and then underneath it, I've got a cart that runs underneath it, or carts that run underneath it. And if you run the cart with the hopper on it, right above ground with stuff on it, that that hopper cart will pick up the melon and pick up the pumpkin um, automatically. So what? So what? So what the carts do is they go and pick up all the melons. See how how these two carts coming? And then this part here, you'll see here, when it comes down, right there, it, there's a hopper there. And so basically the cart stops and puts in whatever it's, whatever, whatever it's collected up there, it'll basically put into the hopper and the hopper drops the items into these um, containers, boxes, whatever they're called. So we should be able to see these numbers go up when they, when they pass through. Um, 
Maybe it's the top one it's doing. Yep, there we go. So that went up from 41 to 42. 44. So that's what it does. So it automatically collects pumpkins and creates, you know, harvests them, picks them up, and then dumps them down there. So that's the first thing I wanted to show. Okay, the next thing. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll grab a few of those pumpkins and melons and I'll show you the next thing. Next thing I'll show you is the automatic um, automated sorter. Here it is here. So here's all the different things that I'm sorting. So each one of these boxes um, will only contain that particular item. Okay, so this, this sorter sorts them all and you, you can see there's a lot of them down here. So I'm gonna throw, and all you do to put this, put this stuff in the sorter is you come to this box and you dump everything that you want to sort. And that clicking noise, every time it's clicking, it's sorting one item. And every time it finds an item that it, that, that it matches, it'll light up that item that it's found. So it's putting all these pumpkins in there at the moment. If look down here. I oh, know that's full. That's full. There it is. Okay. Now let's find, let's just grab an item that's not in there. So it's all good for the items that are, oh, go away. Um, See, it's collecting all the items there. So let me just find an item that I know isn't isn't in the sorter. What happens? Oh, that's a lot to go through. What if I put that one there? Yeah. So if it, if, it, if I've put an item in there that it isn't that I haven't sorted, I mean they haven't got a sorting box for, it'll come down here. Oh, actually, I did have an item for that. I think. No, no, it's not. That noise means that I've sorted and I've tried to sort an item that I don't have a box for, and there it is there. So if I take it out, it, it stops playing. See? See, right now it's sorting all of those melons that I put in there. So that's the automatic sorter. So we should see the melons in that box. Oh, whoops! I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so that's. You you don't do that. I've, I should have now that now the melons won't work. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> you understand? You get my drift. You get you get the hang of it. Okay. So the next thing here I want to show you is my automatic furnace. So I've got an automatic oh look automated furnace. So let's grab some. Um, and find it. Some coal. So it first needs some coal. Coal. So I don't know if you know the shortcuts, but if you hold down shift and press one of the buttons, it grabs 64 of it. So I'll grab coal and then I'll grab just some ore. Um, some gold. And maybe some iron. So this is what happens. These boxes here, the top box with the ore icon, is where you put the ore that you want to, to smelt. Oops. So um, the next box is where you put the, the coal to, to, um, to light the furnace. And then once it's all been um, smelted, the end result will will, um, will go into the bottom box below. See the box down there? So at the moment, there's 39, if I take this all out, so then you'll be able to see what I make, okay? So the first thing I'll do is I'll put in the, put in the, let's just say we'll put in 32 gold and 32, I'll do the gold first. So we're putting in the gold and we put in some we put in some coal. Now, just watch what happens down here in this box. There we go. There's our gold automatically getting. Um, I've got about 
I think there's about 12 furnaces in there. And so basically it's an automated furnace. Mass furnace, I guess you call it. So there goes my, my gold. And then you can do the same for, you can put, you know, put iron in there. And that will go and smelt that iron quite quickly. But it will first do the gold first. But that's that's what that is. That's a redstone contraption. You can see the redstone redstone there. That noise, that ticking noise, is still the sorter. See, it's still sorting all that pumpkin. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is this here. This this um. You watch what happens once once all the the crops are fully grown you flick this lever up and watch what happens flick it up and all of those and then you flick it back down again okay so what that's done is it's automatically picked up all of the well it's it's automatically um harvest all the crops into this see here it comes in here right it basically pushes all the crops, it flushes the, the crops out with water and then puts them into all the hoppers and then it clicks those um, the, 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 the crops and the, and the, and the seeds um, into this particular um, chest here. So then what you do is then you go and plant some more crops. Then you, all you do is you take some more seeds and you go and plant some more. So it doesn't automatically plant it, you've got to still plant it yourself. But then when it's, but this automatically will just uh, harvest it for you. So that's all it is, and all it, all it's doing is there's some water um, inside those um, um, those. Uh, I can't remember what that's called. It's a it's a barrel or it's a piece of wood. I can't remember. And then when I flick that switch, all it does, as you'll see it. Is the water then comes out of those barrels, or that 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 um that those wooden pieces there, and flushes the crops out into the hoppers. I'll show you one more time. Here goes the water, see? And then you turn it off so that you can start growing, uh, planting again. So that's that. Uh, the next one. This is my small. I oh, don't worry about the cows. This is my small um, sugar cane farm. That's all the all the sugar cane that's getting collected in there. And basically, what happens? There's a observer or a watcher. I can't remember what they're called, but basically, when the sugar cane grows to a certain height and it gets to the height of these eyes, these beady eyes up the top, these observers. As soon as the observers note, um, um. Uh, detects sugar cane it will automatically trigger that piston to come out and chop the sugar um, the sugar cane off and then the sugar t cane then runs down into uh, the water and then into that chest so that's a sugar cane okay so this is a beef and leather um, automated farm so I'll just take them out what happens is you press the button to to put the water in there which will raise the cows up so that you can feed them Feed them wheat. So if I press the button, now I come up here with my wheat and feed them. Oops. And they'll all and the, and there'll be too many in there because all the cows will make baby cows, um, calves, and then the um the calves will m make the big big cows in there. There'll be too many of them. And they all get squashed and then they produce the meat and the beef, or the yeah, the beef and the leather. So watch. If I feed them. And you'll start to hear the plopping of, of baby calves. That's it. yep. see, see, it's see, see, it produced just then 11 beef and five liver. That was quick, so that's for that. Um, this one here is very slow, is it? but it's. Before we got that contraption over there, it was um get out of the way. Um, it was just a um, a way to harvest. Um, it harvests 
pumpkins and puts them in there. That's that's what that does. And it's the same one, it just harvests on oh, melons. Yep. Okay, so this thing up here, it's hard. To, if you wanted to explore it, that's fine. You can just knock a hole through there. But this is a um, a creeper farm. So it's it's producing creepers up there. And then what happens is those creepers um, they get stuck in a in a in in like a um, a water conveyor, or just a um, a stream of water, and it, and basically as soon as they they um, they spawn, they basically are stuck in a in a water um, um, stream, and it basically pushes them down into the hole, and then all the way down here, and they fall to their death, and of course creepers when they die produce um, gunpowder. So this is a gunpowder gun farm. You watch once. Hopefully we can get one of them or two of them to come down. Like, you'll see one or two of them. Come on. Usually you don't have to wait very long. Here's what, there you go. There you go, a couple of them. So as soon as they hit there, they die, and then their gunpowder basically gets poured into that hopper and then into that chest. The next farm, I can't, I to be honest, I can't remember how this works. Um, I know that there's a lot of redstone under there, contraptions under there. They've got hoppers and stuff. And what it does is, well, I can't remember how this works, but I believe the farmers are meant to basically ha um. I mean to farm all that, um, that, 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 those, that wheat and the crops there, and, and then I think, I can't remember, I think, I think they get, uh, once they get full enough, once they, once the farmers get too full and they can't, usually what they're meant to do is they're meant to then go and put their produce in a, um, a, a, comp a Com a composter, but I've got the composter there, but I've I've actually put metal bars up so the so the farmers can't put their the the produce into the composter, so they they can't get rid of it, so they keep holding it, and they gets to the point where they got too much of, they've got too much, um, wheat on them, and therefore they don't end up picking up the wheat, and then what happens is all the contraptions that I've got underneath, all the hoppers and stuff. Um, anything that falls to the ground in there will automatically get collected. So, so he collected, so he collected that because he had some spare um, capacity in his inventory. But when he's full, um, all the produce stays on the ground and gets collected by the hoppers underneath there, which in turn basically populates all the wheat that they collect into these into that chest. So you get the, the wheat. And then what happens is any seeds that they collect and they throw out, uh, well, sorry, any seeds that fall onto the ground um, will also get collected, but I don't want to keep the seeds. So what I usually do is, you'll notice that, see how they see the seeds popping out of here? I've got, I've got a, I can't remember what they're called, but it's, it pushes the seed, like, it pushes the seeds back up to the farmers so that they can collect the seeds and go and plant them again because we want them to have seeds or they'll run out of seeds and then not be able to plant any produce. But it's not quite working the way it's... I, I don't know. I don't think it's working that well. Okay, so you've got those. Just showed you those ones. Showed you this one. Now this one here... Okay, this one here is meant to be a... This is meant to be a villager a farm. Farm. Farmer, I should say, far, a f automated villager farm. So what's meant to happen is this farmer is meant to go in and harvest all the pro um, the produce here. And again, because I've got it to the point where he can't. I think I've changed it. Uh, he or maybe he can put the, some of his harvest in there. But what what a villager will do is um, if he's got carrots, etc., and, and he sees another couple of villagers, 
He will go and first make sure that those villagers have got food. So he'll come over and give some of the carrots to the villagers. And in turn, um, I've put some beds there so that the villagers, so hopefully they, he feeds the, the carrots to the villager. That's what he's meant to do. There he goes. Good. So the village, that villager will collect the food and give it to these villagers. And then those villagers will get happy enough, once they've got enough food in them, they'll get happy enough that they'll go and produce a baby villager. Okay. And, and I don't allow these, I don't allow these people to sleep, these villagers, so they just will produce a baby villager. And then what happens is that baby villager will pop down, it will go down that little chute there. Okay, so anything that the the farmer throws down that the villagers don't catch will get collected in here. So I've already got all the carrots that he's thrown down. Okay, so that's where I'm collecting the carrots. But any villager that pops down doesn't get caught into that um, thing. And that vi I've got a villager... Uh, the baby villagers then will run down that stream and get captured down further. I don't remember what I did with it. I'll have to go and open up that... I'll have to have a look. I can break this because I can, I guess. I can always, I've got a save of it. I'm going to break it soon. Look, you watch. So where does it go? It goes down here. Here it is. It goes down here. Now the baby villagers will fit in this hole, but of course I won't. Here it is, and the baby villagers... I think I've stopped it anyway because I was getting too annoyed with the sounds of so many baby villagers underneath here. Yeah, it was... they were, they were coming down in here Jeez, where did they? Where did I have them coming down? Oh yeah, no, I've got them. I've got them dying here. <laughs> yep. Okay. So when I when I wanted the, to farm villages, I would take out that cactus plant, right? And it wouldn't kill them. But I just got sick of them. So every time there's a villager that gets created, I kill it. Um, why I had it down here is because just above here is my um, my base. So let me just get out of here. Come on. I'll just... Uh, I'll just break this. Here we go. Let's come up here. So that's what that is. Um, so I've showed you all of this. Oh, this here. This is an automated, um, automated iron farm. So it produces iron and poppies. And how it does it, I don't know if you've seen this, but what I've got here is I've got some villages locked away in um, in little um, little rooms with glass there. And I don't know if you know, but if a villager is scared of the creepers or, or zombies, and as soon as he, as soon as, villi as, soon as villagers see zombies. Um, more times than not, what they'll do is they'll spawn a, I can't remember what they're called, golems, an iron golem, okay, to protect them. So what happens is we've got all these villagers here, when they get scared of that, and that, that zombie can't get the villagers, but it just scares them enough to produce an iron golem, and the iron golem gets, um, it, it spawns up here at the top, because this is the, here it goes, see it, there. One just got spawned, and then what it does is it automatically falls into that pit of lava, dies, and the iron that it produces falls all the way down that chute and ends up in these boxes. So there you go. So that's how I that's that's my iron 
farm. Pretty cool. What else have I got to show you? I'll make this quick. Um, okay, so the I've got a mess. Okay, that's right. Um, the other cool thing down here, this is my base down here. Slide indoors. Okay, so I've just got some... Uh, okay, there's my, there's my enchanting room. It's my dog. Okay, um... I don't know what I've got to hold there for. Um, these things here are um, barrels, and I've just... So, so, so this barrel here, if I click on the left-hand corner, or, or any of the, the corners of the barrel, that's my barrel full of diamonds and emeralds and stuff. So I've just labelled it with a with a picture frame. So this one will, here will have stuff to do with lights, oh, this, a rail rail tracks and rail cart stuff. These are stairs. It looks like yeah, stairs, um, lapis in here. So it's just this is a manual sorter. This is just me sorting out all the stuff over time. Um, bricks. Play, yep, and my magic spells. So that's just all. Where this is my storage. Okay, now that's that's the egg from the uh, uh, Ender Dragon that that I defeated. I'll put it in there. And here's my villager sp um, farm. So those villagers that I was um, pr producing um, from that villager farm. Or the trading farm, I should trading library, the trading. I don't know what you call it, but this is where all my um, my villages I've got. Um, this is where, obviously, if you right-click on this guy, this is this is where I'm producing all the mess, um, all the trades, the good trades. So they produce enchanted books, etc. So I've got a label next to each one. It's it's mending. Yeah, the Book of Mending, Enchanted Book. Um, these ones produce good carrot and beetroot. Yep, oh, for emeralds. Yeah, so they're all labelled there. Wheat, beetroot, respiration three, impaling. Yep. So that's what all those do, and I'm sure that you know how to, you know how this works. But that's my little, my little hallway full of my villagers. Are you? This has gone a bit long, but the other thing to show you here is, oh, that's another farm where they meant, where the farmers are just meant to, yeah, you, you you'll know about that. Okay, so this other cool thing, it's, okay, I've got two, so I've got a massive railway system underneath the uh, the ground here, and because I'm running, I'm usually running survival. Um, the only way to get around fast is a rail cart. Um, so it's more fun to play survival on this because it's more realistic. But this one here is the north line. That's the south line. I think I've got in here. Oh, usually I keep carts in there, but if not, I, I don't. Okay, that's cool. So all you do is if you want to jump on a the north rail line that goes north and I'll tell you it goes over a long way and the south one I can't remember where the south one goes but um, it travels through the different biomes um, we just put a rail cart down okay you just put one down on these uh, this rail here just the the unpowered one and you jump in it and you just press the button and you put and you push in the you push forward so press the button and push forward. Okay, so that gets you going, and that'll keep going until I've until it um, it reaches a destination that I've created. So I've got a like a train stop, a train station, like one here. See how what it is? It's just an unpowered rail which stops the cart. And this part here was a part that I'd mined previously, and you can explore all this if you want to. But each one is each each stop along the line 
um, you know, at some some point I mined that area. So we'll get back in. Let's go to the next um, station. Okay, so specifically all I can remember is that the north line, the north rail line, goes to that biome where there's the moo cows that have the mushrooms on the back of them. I can't remember what that's called. Um, I'm sure you've seen it. Um, can't remember what it's called. So here's another little stop. So you can spoil them, but this will continue. I believe this rail line could be up to about 15 minutes um, long. So you've literally got to stay on the rail for about 15 minutes. It goes it goes so long, I tell you. And just every time it stops, just find the button on the side of the wall there and press it and press forward. Um, so it's quite boring this because this, this takes ages to get there, but eventually it does get to the biome where there's cows with the, um, I think, what are they called? Cow shrooms or something? Shroom cows or something? Where they've got they got the mushrooms on the back of their, um, on their backs. And instead of, um, when you milk them, they don't produce milk, they produce um, uh, mushroom soup, I think. Okay, so here's another spot. Usually that red thing there means that I've created something. So that long here is, I don't know, it must just be more mines here. So I press the button and press forward. So you can explore the these uh, this rail. As you can see, that okay, that stops there. Okay, so I'm not going to go all the way down. I'll let you explore that. But let me just fly back. Or you might even want to. Maybe you can't be bothered to to go on the rail. You may just want to fly like this. But I don't usually have creative mode on this particular world. Um, I usually just um, this was all a survival world. So I. I created this all by hand. It took ages. And yeah, I'll let you explore that. But there's not only a north and a south line. Oh, I'm going to keep going. There's a north south line, it goes north and south. And also there's an east west line. So this is the so there's the north, the south, this is our base. Our base is along here. Okay, up those stairs. Now if you want to, so this was the north-south line. If you go up up two levels, just to here, this is the east-west line. So it goes the different way. East, east that way, and west that way. So again, an, another long rail line. And you can explore what, you know, what's at the end of each one. And that's probably about it. That was my way of um, moving the villages once we had um, had to transport the villages from other villages uh, we had to put them on carts and then basically get them to the point where we got the carts back here and we basically put the, the carts on those pistons and pushed them all the way up to the top and got them out of our base so I think that's the end of the video I think there's nothing else to really show you so hopefully you like that you go for a bit of explore so this is the farm world. Uh, oh no, that's right, there's this too. This is cool. This is the bigger version. This is a big automated um, sugarcane um, harvester. So obviously, it's, it's, um, chopping down the sugar cane and then the sugar cane lands in the water goes all the way down into the hoppers get clicks in the hoppers and then basically um, gets collected into those chests there see I've just got um, I've got carts picking up all the, the stuff and then putting them into the into the chests that's how that works They're pretty cool.
Okay, I'll leave it with that then, Angus. I hope you enjoyed it.